What's up everybody, it's your boy Chris Rush. Hey, I wanted to make a quick video to kind of recap the July 4th outreach down on Hidden Pen and 2nd, Preaching the Gospel. If you haven't seen our videos, you can check out the videos on the uh, YouTube page. Now, um, I need to start kind of strapping the GoPro on me because there are a lot of things I didn't catch because with the GoPro, sometimes if you have it on you, you can't hear things that people are saying. I want to make sure I pick up that, but it was a very eventful day. I was really happy, uh, felt good after we were done. Um, out there just kind of street preaching. We had uh, two people, special thanks to Sandra and um, Allison for coming out and passing out. You've been lied to pamphlets to a bunch of people. And yes, some people were throwing it away, but a lot of people were taking them and I'm sure reading it. Uh, so big ups, to the, the, big ups to them for doing that. Also just us out there, um, just representing Christ, preaching the word was powerful. Um, Couple, couple of things that you didn't see on the uh, video. We had one guy um, actually stole my bullhorn. So you see one video I have a bullhorn and in other videos I don't. Well, the reason why I don't have the other, first the reason why I don't have the other, uh, I'm sorry. Well, the reason I don't have the bullhorn is because the cops came and told me that I couldn't have a bullhorn because I didn't have a permit. So I put the bullhorn down and then later there was a drunk guy in front of my face who was like, talking to me yelling and I, I don't know why I didn't think to pull out the GoPro and then he took the GoPro and ran and uh, and Sandra tried to fight him for it but she <laughs> I was like let it go and so that was kind of kind of crazy but one thing to be serious about what I felt when I was out there is that I really felt um, you know God's heart for this nation um, I was quoting a lot of from our founders and I really just felt like you know, really saddened by how people just kind of wanted to ignore the word or how people were just, you know, not wanting to hear what I had to say. And the reason why I felt sad, because I, one thing I kept saying is, does God have to kill your children for you to have a heart for the unborn? Does God have to take your kids away? And when I said, I noticed people clinging to their kids or like kissing their kids or that I noticed that type of thing. It's just like people want to ignore the injustice as long as it doesn't touch them personally, touch their household. And so that really just kind of bothered me that, um, you know, people were not, uh, that you know, that people don't really want to hear about that unless it touches them. And the idea of it hurting their household bothers them, but they don't really care about the other person. Uh, but I thought it was real successful to be out there preaching word. I thought, you know, from my heart, you know, that judgment is coming to this nation, that uh, we're, at, we're a nation of hypocr uh, hypocrites because we're out there talk, celebrating America at the same time as we're having genocide going on. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know what else to say, but I had a great time out there preaching the word. It was real successful. I just want to encourage everyone out there to do that type of stuff. Go out to the streets, handing out things, holding signs. I love that we were holding our signs. People can't get away from our signs. Uh, had women say, my body is, you know, my body, my choice. And I like literally had a sign that says the body inside your body. And they couldn't argue with that. It was kind of like, well, I guess that makes sense. It was just, it was classic. Um, so going out there with our propaganda, with our signs and our speech, people cannot ignore that. Uh, and and it, it's a seed plant in people's hearts. So we have to get in the culture. We have to pretty much force the culture to look at this issue because they want to ignore it and the culture is built to ignore the issue of abortion. But it was a, it was very exciting to see two or three people, you know, bring it to thousands within just a couple of hours. So. This is Chris Rush, Mayor Whoville. It's time to raise up this movement. It's time to abolish abortion. I believe we can do it in four years. All hands on deck. AHA, let's get it. Peace.